Hello everyone, welcome to my video. I'm so happy to have you here as always. Today we're going to be looking over some of my recent Pokemon card pickups. All sorts of cards actually. We got Amiibos, we got Pokemon plushes, we have all sorts of things. So I hope you enjoy looking at what I've picked up in the past couple weeks and uh, yeah, let's get started. We are going to start out with the cards I got at a mini Comic-Con. Um, I'll actually go ahead and show you guys what it's like. It's a really nice small little con that you can see everything in under uh, about two hours. I'd say two hours is plenty of time there, but it is a fantastic one. Even digging through cards, I was out of there in under two hours. But uh, let me show you guys what's over there. This con is amazing. So many good things here. Definitely good cards. Yeah, so this Gardevoir is one of the cards I got. I think I paid about $2 for it from the Radiant Collection. It is a gorgeous card for sure. Um, this, I'm not sure why this has this particular hollow pattern. Maybe it was in a deck or a promo something, but it's a really cool looking hollow pattern. On this Fossil Researcher, um, this Articuno, great card. Love Articuno. Got a nice dark flare on. I think I paid about $2 for this one. It's in pretty decent shape. Um, this Gengar Hollow, this is actually a pretty playable card. I remember somebody on YouTube uh, showing me a deck that they made with that Gengar. This Togetic has a nice crease on it right there. This will definitely go into my PSA 1 collection that I'm starting now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't call it a PSA 1 until it's graded, but I'm pretty confident this will be a PSA 1. The Delta Species Togetic, very nice card. I got this Blastoise for a nice $10. It does have a crease in it, very faint. Um, great card I've wanted to add to my collection for a while. This Crawdon, I think, was about $2 or $3. It's in, it's in solid shape. Nice e-reader hollow. Crawdon, not the most sought after Pokemon, but... It is a lovely card to have in my collection. This is pretty played and damaged, but it is a reverse hollow e-reader. That is a cool card to have. Kangaskhan, because uh, I love the two different Raichus there. <laughs> I love Kangaskhan. I love Raichu. What's not to love there? Let me uh, fix this little stack there. I got a lot of cards for some were five for a dollar, some were a dollar, some were less, but... I got a lot of cards, four different sellers, like I said, four different vendors, lots of uh, Watsy Commons, and I do love those, and just some variety cards, some rares from miscellaneous sets here. Trevenant, somebody who was uh, selling the card said to me, did you know that that Pokemon's only five feet tall? I don't think it's very intimidating. I was like, I did not know that. <laughs> this Pidgey art from HeartGold SoulSilver, I think this is a just great card for Pidgey. Absolutely fantastic art. Vaporeon, because how could you not? <laughs> you guys know how I feel about Vaporeon. We got a Professor's Oak. Dodrio, also one of my favorite Pokemon there, oddly enough. I, I like some odd Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> another Professor's Oak. And yeah, some of these were, like I said, just five for a dollar, but I'm not passing off. Passing up decent Watsy Commons for that price trainers or not um this one is in good shape too a 2014 rare right there uh potion this one's a little beat up i don't think i noticed that <laughs> defender uh drake stain i don't even know how how or why i got this but it's there i don't think i have this card <laughs> abra sweet little abra card diglet um this one might be from crystal guardians we got a Scrafty, rare, very nice. This Black Belt, I like this art because you got Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee going at it right there. I think this is a fantastic Heart Gold Soul Silver Trainer. We got Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb, Remoraid. Just, oh, losing my phone there. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe it's tipping over. Let's see if it stays. <laughs> I could switch phone cases. 
<laughs> we got a Cedra Meow Stick. Very nice. Rare. Underrated Pokemon. I use that one in um, competitively on Pokemon Sword and Shield. I am super excited for um, the next set, Scarlet and Violet there. That's going to be good. We're going to see some new Pokemon cards with that. We got a Meowth, base set two, Professor Oak. We got this guy. This is a Team Plasma rare. Very nice. Doduo. Again, one of my favorite Pokemon. And I love this trainer because Celebi is right there. Like, such good art. This, like, this whole set has to be so underrated. Blaine's Doe Duo, because why not? That classic, classic art style there. Misty Star You. A Butterfree. Who doesn't love Butterfree? Tenant Surge's Rattata. Rock's Geodude. Misty's Star You. Koga's Coughing. Zatu. Ponyta. Tenant Surge's Voltorb. Another Doduo. I really went hard on the Doduos at this <laughs> little con. <laughs> Heart Gold Soul Silver Voltorb. Got a Watchog. I want them to remake Heart Gold Soul Silver for the Switch. Like, I have it on the DS. I love it. But make it again. Make it for a third time. <laughs> Nidoran. I love this art. With the little berries. We got an e-reader trainer. If I see e-reader cards, I buy them. No debate. Ladian. Very nice card right there. We got an electric eel. Full art, but not hollow. We got the big old sword. We got a Gardevoir. I went hard on the Gardevoir, I think, as well. Another Avra. Coke is coughing. Swinub. Firo, another Doduo. <laughs> Great Spear art right there. I, I don't think I've seen this card. I love that. We got a new Pokedex. I love the Neo Trainers. Like, their borders are bolder. The art is vibrant. Oh, this Zubat. I've, I've showed off the Zubat before, but why not put another one in the collection? We got a Ponyta. Koga's Grimer. You know if I see a Kabuto, I'm buying it. Tenant Surge's Rattata. Swinub. Ponyta. Tenant Surge's Spiro. Lovely Neo Pikachu right there. That was a great find in the pile of cards that I was digging through. Another Meowth. This one's Jungle. On Pheasant, a rare Oddish. I think I got a few of these Oddishes. Lady Buh, of course. Another e-reader potion. <laughs> another Oddish. <laughs> Tratini. Yet another Meowth. I mean, Meowth is an iconic Pokemon. I don't think you can blame me for that. The Boss's Way. Weevil. I guess I bought an Energy for some reason. <laughs> energy Retrieval. <laughs> This is a uh, Team Rocket Returns energy, I believe. Um, this Coferigus rare from Team Plasma. I have not seen too many Team Plasma cards that are not beat up. Need a Reno from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Hop it. But yeah, if you just look at the borders of Neo compared to um, you know the earlier cards, they're so vi vibrant and just so colorful. Ooh, look at what I'm doing with my phone. I am not having a good time with my phone today. <laughs> Fard fetched. Chin Chow. Switch. Superior. Psyduck, first edition. Gotta love it. Psyduck, one of the best Pokemon of all time. We got a Pidgey. Sabria's Abra. This, this is one of my favorite Abra arts for sure. Just looks so peaceful and loungy. We have a base set two. We have a Tentacruel, Star You, Grimer. Yeah, the bulk of these were five for a dollar. I will say that. Need Arena, which I think is just a bargain for any early Pokemon cards. Or this one's pretty beat up, but a Reverse Doug Trio. I I just love it. Love the art. 
Brox Vulpix. I did get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, don't know if they're any good. This one's obviously just beat up, but it was too cool not to get. Oh, we got a Radiant Purloin. Love the hollow patterns on these. They're so cool. These are some of the coolest cards. <laughs> Mag. Oh, this one's a hollow. Mag Mortar hollow. I don't even know if I noticed that. It's got a really nice hollow pattern there. We got a reverse Heart Gold Soul Silver Oddish. Again, love that art. Went super hard on the Oddish. <laughs> Honch Crow. We got some Shadowless Pokemon cards. We got a Star You. We got another Pearl line. I managed to get two of them. All right. <laughs> this was only a dollar, so I grabbed him up. That is a great card right there. Reshiram. Oh, Star. I'm probably going to send that to somebody as a gift, one of my viewers. We got a first edition Dark Golduck. What a bargain. We got a Pikachu. Why not Pikachu? Now, these, I think, are early Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Because some of these I, like, vaguely remember. Some are early. Some are probably not. Um, I'm just buying them to buy them. I thought they looked cool, a lot of these. Um, no idea if that's rare. This one I remember being an early card. I absolutely remember that one. And it looks like I got two. <laughs> the All-Seeing White Tiger. That one looks cool. Looks like an early card. I'm going to do a little research on them, see if they're worth anything. I grabbed some uh, Japanese ones, because why not? Those ones are probably also early. They have a glossiness to them, so like, I'm not sure if that's how they came, or if they're, you know, I just, I have no idea. I don't think they're fake, but this Tentacool from Heart Gold Soul Silver, amazing. Magikarp. Magikarp, for crying out loud. I love Magikarp. And you guys know how I feel about Slowpoke. One of my favorites this is a great card. You got Pikachu, you got Totodile over there. Just a classic card. Heart Gold Soul Silver Do Duo. I pulled one of those from a Heart Gold Soul Silver pack. And now here's Slowbro. And then you have the other starters there. You have Chikorita, you have Cyndaquil. Just a fantastic card. Bayleaf. More Oddish. Like, I didn't get enough Oddish already. Kakuna Shadowless. Very nice. I got a couple of these Machamps. I know I got, yeah, four Shadowless Machamps. Because I just grabbed all of them. I think I maybe left one in the pile for somebody else to get. <laughs> uh, Drowsy Shadowless. Star You Shadowless. Weedle Shadowless. And Magnemite. Bulbasaur is not Shadowless. Posters Oaks Revenge from Rocket. We got a Flaffy. Love that art. I don't know. I love these borders on the cards, too. We got a Noble Dragon Magician. This was an early one, too. I remember this card. Some of these are, like, total, like, flashbacks. Flame Cerberus. Hopefully this brings back some memories for you guys with Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, uh... It brought back some memories for me as soon as I saw some of these cards. That one's cool. I just love the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hollows. I love that hollow pattern. This one it's not very prominent on, but it looks good. Looks really good. Mystical Elf. I remember that one from back in the day. Divine Dragon. Cyber Phoenix, and uh, whatever this thing is, looks really cool. <laughs> Rune Queen of Oblivion, that's a cool looking card. That one's probably not too old. But that's what I got at that little con right there. I didn't get anything else. So another thing I got is not one, but two special delivery Charizards. And there is a long and interesting story behind this. We're going to talk about that in its own video. I'm not going to tell you guys all right now, but uh, you guys should hear the story. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So I had a viewer, Complete Sweetheart, sent me over some wonderful things. And some of what they sent me is some of my favorite, favorite Pokemon Kabuto. Um... You guys mostly know that Kabuto is, like, my top fave. <laughs> um, and then this gorgeous Radiant Eevee. 
The Radiant Collection, so good. I would love to get a full Radiant Collection. We got this incredible hollow Umbreon from Heart Gold Soul Silver, first edition Misty, and a Pikachu and Zekrom Gold card. I am so honored that they sent me that along with some other amazing, amazing things. Um, then they sent another package, which is going to segue into another conversation. So I got this great first edition horsey, but they sent me some cards which I cannot open on YouTube. We're going to be opening them up on OnlyFans tomorrow night live. Uh, just several, like, I want to say five things like this of just Playboy cards, Pamela Anderson, gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I'm going to be opening for the first time tomorrow night live on OnlyFans. So you, if you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link to the OnlyFans in the description so you guys can watch that live stream. I got a card, a risque card here from the creator of Taboo Contract, and we're going to be giving this card away. Um, I have a different giveaway that I'm going to be starting this week, so we're not going to be doing it this week, but we're going to be doing that very soon, my friends. Yeah, so the, I got some very, very cute plushes from the Pokemon Center. We got this adorable, adorable baby Jirachi right here. So, so cute. Now, I had made a purchase with these three plushies just to see if I could still buy from Pokemon Center. Again, this conversation is going to be its own video, but uh, I figured I would show off the plushies that I got with that purchase. This Bonsly, I mean, I have Pseudo Wudo. I figured Bonsly is super cute as a little tiny plush. I figured I would grab that up as well. And then what I got to get the special delivery Charizard is this Ultra Ball, which we're, we're just going to do its own uh, unboxing video. These are pretty cool. Um, I'll show you guys that. It's a little hard to show in this video, but figured I would share that as well. So one place I love to go is the Sturbridge Antique Market, and they have a ton of like cool TCG things there all the time. I've gotten a lot of Pokemon cards out of there. Um, but I found these Star Trek uh, Skybox Master Series cards sealed for $10. I was like, that's going to be its own fun thing. And then there was like these uh, complete collector card sets, and these were, yeah, they were 5 bucks each, and I got... Um, just all the different sets. There's There were six sets there. I don't know if they made more, but I thought that was a really cool thing to uh, just find sitting there. I wanted to grab that up. And we'll do a, we'll definitely do a video on these and an unboxing. Just a cool thing to have. I found this, I, I'm assuming it's a DS case for $2. Um, Square Enix members. I have no idea if this is like a thing worth buying, but I bought it because I was like, ah, I could kind of use another DS case. I have a DS that does not have a case right now because I have multiple. And I got a ton of Amiibos there. I hit the Amiibo jackpot. This golden Mario. Amazing. Completely in the box. Looking very nice right there. Super happy to get him. We got a silver Mario as well. I can't believe these weren't already in my collection. <laughs> Uh, I think I got one more boxed Amiibo. Yep, this one, this, this cat. I don't really know what it's for, but it looks cool. I'm going to put it on my shelf. <laughs> then we got... I was I was actually surprised I don't have this one, like this regular Bowser. I know I have the Bowser and the Tuxedo over there, but I don't think I have this regular Bowser. I could be wrong, but it doesn't look like it. I had to get a... Lucario right here. This one's pretty cool. He was a uh, $13. That's not bad. It's a pretty good bargain. I don't think I have Waluigi. This particular Waluigi could be wrong again, but grabbed him up because every Amiibo collection needs one of those. Wario. Wario was the most expensive one besides the gold Mario, and he was $28 the loose Wario, but I am fine with that. <laughs> I have a Wario, but it's the Wario in clothes, I think. We have this Kirby Amiibo. This is the Meta Knight Amiibo. This one, I don't think it's from Smash Brothers, actually, so that's cool. I think all the Smash Brothers ones have that red. No, no, you know what? They have this one. They have this bottom to them. They're Smash Brothers ones. Um... So we got a Greninja as well. Greninja made its way to my collection. Don't think that's over there. <laughs> yep, we got a... Oh, this one's a Japanese exclusive, it says on the tag. Interesting. 
Japan exclusive, Rob. Rob the Robot, very nice. I don't have this one for sure. I knew that right away when I saw it. So I was like, you're really buying all of these? <laughs> yeah, I bought like most of what was there. I got this Yoshi. I don't think I have this Yoshi. Again, could be wrong. And this Diddy Kong is fantastic. Uh, He was a little bit pricier too, $21, but he is so cool. How do you not want to put him in a, your Amiibo collection right there. So, so cool. And as you guys know, I have a ton of Amiibos. <laughs> there is no shortage of Amiibos in this house. As you can see, I even got a couple more up there. So yeah, now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all these new ones. <laughs> One more Pokemon card that I got sent to me was uh, this PSA 1, the first start, the official start of my PSA 1 collection. First edition Slowbro, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Old Pokemon collector sent this over to me from Instagram, and I'm going to send him back something cool. I thought this was a fantastic little gift for me to, you know, again, kick off my PSA 1 collection. I want to get a lot of PSA 1 cards, well-loved cards. That's my new thing to collect, as if I need something else to collect. <laughs> Another important pickup. The last thing we're going to cover today is this big, squishy, chunky chew from the Pokemon Center that was gifted to me. I absolutely love him so much. He's so cute. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to do it for today's video. i got to figure out where I'm going to put him to, but he's so squishy and soft, and he's better in real life than he is online. He is so squishy and good and <laughs> so cute look at that little face look at that little face <laughs> that's gonna do it for today's video unfortunately but i want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching i appreciate you as always and uh subscribe if you haven't already leave a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comments i'm gonna say bye for now everyone and take care i'll see you all very soon